Michelle Sterling from Melbourne, Australia is someone I've grown to respect more and more through the years. Michelle Sterling started a message board where ex-Scientologists could come and talk, and make friends, share their experiences, vent on the atrocities they experienced in the church. And this board got more and more successful. It has something like four thousand signed up members. So Michelle was on the crosshairs of the church. They built some hate websites on her. This is what's known as fair game. The church's urge to destroy an enemy. They got some ridiculous footage of her chatting and interpreted this into some high-level shenanigans with Anonymous, that she was plotting with them to infiltrate their computers, all trumped up. You, you, you had to really dub in and manufacture all the guilt in this. But the church did a very nice presentation to Melbourne police. And guess what? Melbourne police arrived, seized all her computers, handcuffed her, towed her away for simply chatting in a chat room and having some innocuous statements. She was towed away in handcuffs and all her computer equipment was taken. Well, guess what? A few weeks, a few short months later, all charges were dropped. Bogus! Hogwash! Set up by the Church of Scientology for malicious vindictiveness. Meanwhile, ex-Scientology message board is alive and well, thriving. New members join almost every week, if not every second or third day. Horror stories are shared, atrocities are shared. It's probably the busiest message board in the world. People come and go. Emma handles the board as a moderator and the story of her being set up by Office of Special Affairs shows that fair game is alive and well.